In this video, I want to go over this decibel equation. But first, something important to realize is when we're trying to characterize a sound, a given sound, let's say the speaker is making sound, if we're trying to characterize the sound, there are two characteristics we can use to describe the sound. We could describe the sound's intensity, or we could describe the sound's loudness. And this decibel equation is a way to inter interconvert intensity to, to loudness. Or if we have loudness, we can find the intensity. And that's essentially what's going on with this equation. This is just 10, this is log, and this i naught is just a constant. It's just 1 times 10 to the negative 12. So these are all constants. So essentially the way this equation works is if you know the intensity of sound, you plug it in, and then it spits out the decibel loudness reading of the sound. Or if you know the loudness of the sound, you use this equation, do some algebraic rearrangement, and then you can find the intensity of the sound. But what is the difference between intensity of sound versus the loudness of sound? Well, intensity is related to the energy of the sound. For example, we have this speaker, and it's making the sound. And then let's say at this sound, at this given point, we know the sound has a given intensity. It has a given intensity. So what is the intensity of the sound? Well, essentially, it's, it's the power of the sound in a given meter squared area. So again, essentially what's going on is if, we were to, if the sound at this particular point, if we were to take a meter squared area, this cross-sectional area of a meter squared, we know there's a certain amount of power going through this meter squared. There's a certain amount of joules per second going through this meter squared of area. So in one second, there's a certain amount of joules going through this meter squared area. And that value, that's the intensity of the sound. And again, the more joules going per second going through this meter squared area, the higher the intensity. So, so this intensity of the sound is related to the, the energy of the sound. Essentially, the, war, the power, the joules per second going through a given unit area. So that's the intensity of the sound. So if you know this intensity of the sound, if you know how many joules per second is going through this meter squared area, if you know that intensity, then you plug it in this equation, and then you can find the decibel reading of, of, that, of that sound. Which again, the decibel reading is related to the loudness. And this loudness is just a term that, that humans use that, that makes loudness and sound a little more intuitive. Because when we're dealing with intensities, we deal with this, these huge magnitudes, these huge ranges of intensities. So therefore, when we convert it to loudness, we, we deal with numbers that are a little easier to work with. So loudness is just, is, this decibel is just loudness, the loudness of sound. And again, this i naught is really just a constant. This i naught will always just be 1 times 10 to the negative 12. So, so that's constant. So really, this entire part is a constant. And again, you might wonder, what's going on? What is this 1 times 10 to the negative 12 uh, watts per meter squared? Really, this, just, this is an in intensity. And it's really just the minimum intensity that a human being can hear. This is the minimum intensity. Essentially, if we had a, a meter squared, essentially, this amount of joules per second over this meter squared, that intensity is the minimum intensity that a human being can hear. But that's what's going on in this equation. We have intensity, then we can determine with the decibel reading, or, or vice versa. That's what the, what's going on. So let's do some examples. Let's say we have a, a, a sound with this intensity, and let's say we have another sound with this intensity. Then we know there's a certain, this intensity sound has a certain decibel reading. It, it would have a certain decibel reading. And we know this intensity of sound would also have a certain decibel reading. And again, we know how to do this. For example, this intensity, we would just plug in and it would spit out a decibel reading and we would get the decibel reading of the sound. And the same thing with this guy. We have a certain intensity, we plug it in and we would get a decibel reading, a given decibel reading. However, what is the difference in decibel reading? What is, if we have a, a one intensity versus a thousand intensity of, of these units, what's the difference in decibel reading? Well, the, the trick is, the way you do this, is the first thing you do is you look at the difference in magnitude. How many orders of magnitude is the difference? So we see this is one and this is a thousand. So therefore, this is three orders of magnitude higher. So this is three orders of magnitude higher. So the first thing you do is you see how many orders of magnitude higher, and then you just multiply that by 10. You just multiply that by 10, so this gives you 30. So now you know your answer. This guy is 30 decibels higher than this guy. If you were to take this guy and find the decibel reading, and then if you had this guy and found the decibel reading, you would see this guy was 30 decibels higher. And this is just a neat trick to do this. And again, that's essentially what's going on in this equation. This part 
accounts for the differences in intensities and it's a little more complex but really there's a difference in intensities and and so therefore those orders of magnitude and then you multiply by 10 because that's just the way this equation works this equation we multiply by 10 to find the decibel reading and really this is actually a bit of an arbitrary convention the fact that we've multiplied by 10 so the fact that you have to multiply by 10 that that's a little arbitrary convention that humans use but essentially that's how you find the difference in decibel reading so if you're doing an exam and you're asked to find the difference in decibel reading, that's essentially the way you approach this. So let's do another example to, to really clarify what's going on. Let's say we have these two decibel, or these two intensities. So let's say we have these two in in intensities where we have essentially this intensity and we have this intensity. We know this guy has a certain decibel reading and we know this guy has a certain decibel reading. However, what's going to be the difference in decibel readings between these two guys? Well, again, first thing you do is you see how many orders of magnitude higher. And again, we have 50 versus 5 million. So we would see this guy is five orders of magnitude higher. So that's the first step. First step, you see how many orders of magnitude. The next step is you simply just multiply by 10 because again, that's the way this equation works. So you simply just multiply by 10. So that gives us 50. So now we know our answer. This guy is 50 decibels higher than this guy. If you took this guy and found its decibel reading and took this guy and found its decibel reading, you would see this guy is 50 decibels higher. And again, so, so it's pretty straightforward. Ho hopefully this isn't giving you guys too much trouble. And, and this makes sense. You just look at how many orders of magnitude. That's the first step. Then you just multiply by 10 and that's the difference in decibel reading. So let's do a little trickier example. Let's say we have this, this intensity and this intensity. What's the difference in decibel reading? And again, it's not entirely obvious, again, because again, maybe if this was 300, we could see how many orders of magnitude, but we have 600. So in this situation, you would have to do an approximation. We're essentially, instead of comparing this intensity with this intensity, you, you, would, you would fudge the numbers. So let's say instead, let's say we had a 300 watts per meter squared intensity. And again, let's say we had a 3000 watts per meter squared intensity. So, so, we, so we kind of look in the, the in between. So then we would see the difference in decibel reading between this guy and this guy. What's the difference in decibel reading between these two guys? Well, again, remember, first step is you see how many orders of magnitude. And clearly, this guy's two orders of magnitude higher. So it's two orders of magnitude higher. Then you just multiply by 10. So that would give us 20. So now we know this is 20 decibels higher than this guy. And then we would do the same thing for this guy. Again, it's the same idea. How many orders of magnitude higher? And we would see this is three orders of magnitude higher. First step, how many orders of magnitude? Three orders of magnitude higher. Next is you always multiply by 10. Again, this is just an arbitrary convention that, that we use when defining decibels. So again, first, how many orders of magnitude? Second, multiply by 10. So this would give us 30 decibels. So therefore, we know this intensity is 30 decibels higher than this intensity. So this guy was 20 decibels higher, and this guy was 30 decibels higher. So now we know this is in between. This guy, the decibel reading higher that this guy is, is in between 20 and 30. And again, 600 is much, much closer to 300 than it is to 3,000. So therefore, it would be much closer to 20 decibels. So therefore, this intensity it, this intensity is essentially a little higher than 20 decibels higher than this intensity. And essentially, that, that's the way you solve these problems. And, and that's what's going on with these decibel equations.